It has been messy across the middle part of the country. The past, yeah. As you just mentioned, uh, the southern plains, icy and flooding rains, and now we're starting to see some of that here, not in the form of ice, but just rain. And it is almost early December, and here we are talking about more rain across the area. Take a look at what's going on around the area. We had that wintry mix early this morning with some sleet and some uh, moderate rain. Now we're just seeing the clouds and the drizzle. It is 40 degrees, so it will be a cold rain throughout the late afternoon and throughout the evening tonight. But we're in the warm sector of the storm system, so it will be in the form of rain. If you're a snow lover, not this time. You can see that uh, we have just a little bit of light rain around downtown Milwaukee, out towards Miller Park, and uh, right around the zoo interchain. As we zoom out, the rain that we had this morning is now pushed well up to the north. It's moving pretty quickly, but there is more action down to the south. Now Lake Geneva is starting to see a little bit more light rain. Out towards Beaver Dam could be seeing some snowflakes mixing in with some sprinkles out there, but this is a huge storm system, and it is going to be bringing us rain, but just a couple hours to the west, heavy snow. Southwestern Minnesota could pick up easily 9 to 10 inches of snow, if not more than that. We're just a couple of hours too far to the east and to the south if you're looking for the snow. Not going to happen. We could see a dusting, I should say, uh, by tomorrow evening as temperatures begin to drop. But otherwise, the winter weather advisory, northwestern Wisconsin for three to five inches of snow, including the Twin Cities, southwestern Minnesota and western Iowa, six to ten inches of snow. In fact, here's what it looks like. Two to three to maybe four inches of snow from Wausau northward, Green Bay under an inch. And as I mentioned, we could get about a half inch around here or less on the grassy surfaces. We're not much warmer, but we're just warm enough where it is rain. We're back off to the west. It's in the upper 20s and snow. 37 in West Bend, 41 in Burlington, 41 also in Kenosha. The winds out of the east at 5 to 15. That's dropping wind chills at this hour into the lower 30s across the region. It feels like 30 in Beaver Dam. Plus, there's a lot of moisture in the air, so that dampness makes it feel even cooler. Because of that, we're going to give it a 3 on the Goddard gauge. Cloudy, drizzly, cool temperatures near 40 and spotty afternoon showers. Just a typical late fall day. And as we get into the evening, a better chance of rain. And it could be heavy at times going into the morning. The last thing we need around here is more rain. There's streams, the rivers, they're full, and so is your lawn. But it's going to gradually taper off by morning. Snow up north, and we'll just see a few scattered snow showers as we get into the afternoon. As I mentioned, about a quarter to a half inch of rain around here with this next storm system mainly tonight into early tomorrow morning. The forecast for today, right around 42 degrees. Morning light mix is out of here. Now cloudy with a few spotty showers throughout the afternoon. And rain is likely overnight tonight with temperatures in the 30s and 40s. It will be a cold day. Here's your seven day forecast 42 today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's a little misleading. That'll be in the early morning hours, probably around eight, nine o'clock. And then temperatures drop throughout the day into the low to mid 30s. That's why we'll see a little bit of snow in the afternoon hours. Once again, just a dusting to a half inch. Some flurries on Wednesday and 40 degrees. Then it's beautiful. Get your car washed on Thursday because it's going to be sunny through the weekend with temperatures getting close to 50 degrees for the first week of December. So far, winter light. We're back after this.